World Cup coming to Kansas City in 2026. We've known that now for what seems like a long right. time. It still feels like that was yesterday, that right. magical moment. And although it's still a couple of years away, we're getting a big update this weekend. Let's get to KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leon live at Power and Light, where the watch party will be for this weekend's big announcement. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Well, this Sunday is going to be a critical time in prepping for the World Cup. This Sunday, we're actually going to learn how many matches Kansas City will be getting for the highly anticipated World Cup. And of course, joining me right now is Mayor Quentin Lucas. Mayor, it is an exciting time to be a mayor, but not only just a mayor, the mayor of Kansas City. I mean, you know, it feels like Kansas City can't miss right now. And I don't mean that as a jinx, knock on wood, but you're looking at another Super Bowl, I believe our fourth in recent years. You are looking at the World Cup coming to Kansas City. International attention is coming to the town, so I couldn't be any more thrilled. And by the way, thank you so much Lindsay Anderson and others. The weather is finally beautiful this winter. It is finally beautiful. So it feels like, what was it, two years ago when I saw you jumping up and down <laughs> with so many Kansas Cityans when it was announced that Kansas City will host the FIFA World Cup. Okay, it's been nearly two years. What has Kansas City done to ensure that we are prepped to greet a global audience? You know, there is more background work than you could ever imagine. So it's not just, you know, turning on the lights at Arrowhead Stadium. Transportation work is incredibly important. Making sure our hotels, our airports, the new KCI terminal are ready to get people who come here in the thousands to move all around our community. So that's a big step, a lot of regional collaboration. This isn't just a Kansas City, Missouri story. We have Missouri, Kansas, there's support coming from both states and really all around the Midwest. You are catching a lot of people saying we want to be a part of KC 2026 and we are thrilled to continue that work. It's going to accelerate over the months ahead. Is there any pressure to meet expectations? Yes, of course. You know, I want every person when they come to the World Cup in a few years to say, maybe I went to New York for some games, maybe I went to Los Angeles. Kansas City wasn't just the hidden gem, but it's the place I want to go back. It's the place I want to send my business. And more than anything, it's the place where I had one heck of a time. And here in a couple of months, Inner Miami is going to be coming here. GHA, it's going to host Miami yeah. and Sporting Kansas City. Is that match going to be a learning opportunity? Not only that, Copa America, too. Well, Copa America is going to be exceptional. I'm actually very excited <laughs> about that. Miami and Messi should be very cool. I want you all to buy tickets for the game. Don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, I think just you look at the excitement of events that are happening. If you're looking at soccer, even beyond that, the Kansas City Current opening up their facility mid-March, having the home opener that will be national televised. I mean, there is so much soccer activity. When I was growing up, and perhaps when you were growing up, you might be a bit younger, right? And there was this kind of, Kansas City was great for youth soccer. If you look at the buildup of professional soccer in our community, you look at the excitement that's coming and the fact that tons of people are traveling here for big events, then I think you'll see that it will continue to be great. And one story from Baltimore. I was there for the AFC Championship last week. A woman said, I went there for the Beyonce concert. Oh. People travel from all around the country and all around the world to go to big events in KC. 2026 will be a showcase for that. We have some great events this year for it. There you guys have it, and we'll be bringing you coverage of this exciting announcement that's happening this Sunday. By the way, no other pub. They are hosting a watch party for this upcoming announcement. It'll happen this Sunday at 2 p.m. Back to you guys.